Papua New Guinea is experiencing a rise in COVID-19 cases and testing rates are low. But for the most part, Pacific Island nations have avoided a major health crisis during the pandemic. Their crisis is an economic one. With borders shut, many people are out of work in tourism-dependent countries like Vanuatu and Fiji that's also recovering from a cyclone that devastated communities. From pure money in the pocket and transport for the children to get to schools and having food and the school uniforms, it's a real crisis right now. Vaccines are being rolled out in the Marshall Islands and Palau, helped by the US government. But for the rest, some experts say it could take years to vaccinate most of their people. Countries are initially relying on the Global COVAX initiative, an alliance of organisations delivering vaccines to developing nations. Exact rollout dates for the Pacific aren't yet confirmed, but it's hoped they'll begin in the coming months. We're hoping to reach 20% of the populations through, through COVAX, but that isn't enough. We need uh, the support of everyone to make sure that uh, uh, eventually everybody can be vaccinated uh, against this, this horrible uh, disease. For the other 80%, Australia and New Zealand have committed to supplying vaccines, but their timeline also isn't clear. Some experts believe Australia should already be helping its neighbours, given its relatively low numbers of COVID-19 cases, and to secure regional influence in the Pacific. If we want to keep being relevant in the region, it is very important for us to um, provide the region with vaccines to help them with uh, the implementation of the vaccination rollout. The region has previously faced challenges in delivering vaccines to isolated communities. This time around, vaccination is critical to reopening borders and getting countries back on track. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera.